you know, basically thankfulness and gratitude are, are very, very similar. Uh, the only difference actually is that um, grateful is a feeling. So it's something that you can think about and kind of create uh, a feeling. And, and thankful is more of an act. Welcome to Bald Business, the naked truth in entrepreneurship. Let's begin. Hello and welcome back. Today we're talking a little bit more life than we are business. This is Bald Business, the naked truth in entrepreneurship. And the truth about entrepreneurship is truly the fact that there's a lot of things that overlap uh, in life, right? A lot of things that we do, uh, the way that we act, the way that we treat others, the way that we think, a lot of it overlaps. A lot of it determines whether or not we'll be successful. It determines whether or not we'll reach our goals. And I'm on the journey. You know, I'm on the entrepreneurship journey. Uh, had ups, had downs. Um, you know, had had really great times. Had really hard struggles. And so today, being that yesterday was Thanksgiving, I wanted to talk about thankfulness. Uh, three ways to practice thankfulness and why it's important. You know, it's interesting because I think that a lot of times we kind of forget um, to be thankful. And, and, you know, you you hear a lot like, oh, well, I practice gratitude and, you know, I I really, you know, do do my gratitude journal every day to to help keep my mind uh, in in a place of, you know, basically thankfulness and gratitude are, are very, very similar. Uh, the only difference actually is that um, grateful is a feeling. So it's something that you can think about and kind of create uh, a feeling. And, and thankful is more of an act, right? So we celebrate Thanksgiving and we have food and we see family. And, you know, well, some of us did this year. Some of us didn't this year, uh, depending. It's, it's been a wild year. But it, it more comes down to thankfulness more comes down to kind of the act Right, so what are you doing to um, act out your gratitude, if that makes sense? And so I really just kind of want to touch on for a few minutes today the importance of being thankful, the importance of remembering those things, and the importance of acting on those things, uh, and then three ways that we can practice that thankfulness. And you know, if you're thinking, well, you know, I already do my gratitude journaling every day and, you know, I, I do a lot of other things for gratitude and I do a lot of the other things for mindset and, you know, positivity and so on and so forth. If you remember last week, if you listened to last week's show, uh, it was thoughts lead to actions, actions lead to results, right? A lot of times to change our thoughts, we have to change our perception. In order to change our perception, sometimes we have to start with the super basic things like, being thankful, being grateful, finding the positive in things, finding what actually is going right uh, when everything around us seems to be on fire. And so I want to talk about why it's important and then just give you three quick ways that we can practice thankfulness uh, on a regular basis. So why it's important? Well, I think this year alone has proven to us why it's important to look for the good, right? I mean, there's there's crazy bad things happening all around us every single day. Uh, I mean, this year alone, not only have we have have we had COVID, um, but obviously we've had an election. We've had, you know, race issues. We've had rioting. We've had all kinds of crazy things going on in our world. And sometimes it, it, we look around and we think, "Gosh, is there anything that can go right? Is anything is anything even happening right now that's positive?" And you know, there are. There are positive things that happen to us every single day. There are things that we have in our lives and things that we experience in our lives that we should be thankful for all the time. But a lot of it, a lot of it gets clouded. A lot of it gets clouded by the craziness that's happening all around us. A lot of it gets clouded, clouded by stress. A lot of it gets clouded by um, our financial situation or bills that are due or things, things are tight and things you know, we can't clear our head. Maybe it's anxiety. Maybe it's stress. Maybe it's, um, you know, the, the inability to focus. Whatever it is, all the things that we could be thankful for kind of get clouded. And, they, and all the things that we could be grateful for to show our thanks for can get clouded. And it's really, really, really important to not just feel the gratitude, but also to express it in thankfulness by... By, by 
giving back or by doing things or by recognizing um, that these things are happening because if we don't, it basically makes us weaker mentally, right? So if we want to have a strong mind, if we want to have a healthy mind, we have to have balance. And you know, some people would say, um, "Well, Michael, you're you're so optimistic. You're overly optimistic. You're too optimistic." And I think there's times in my life where I could agree with that. I've probably been too optimistic. But honestly, if I'm going to err on on one side or the other, I would rather err on the side that is is positive versus negative, because there's so many more great things that come out of a positive outlook than a negative outlook. So three ways for us to practice gratefulness or thankfulness, excuse me. It's so, it's so hard, right? It's so hard to, to separate those two because they are so much the same. But again, just remember, grateful is a feeling and thankful is, is more of an act. Um, and this is something that I just recently realized too. I was really thinking about this episode and I, I wanted it to be about thankfulness because it's, you know yesterday was Thanksgiving and it's been a crazy year and I think it's important to acknowledge things. I think it's important to give back. And so I kind of was just doing some reading and stuff on it and I, and I realized that grateful and thankful, I realized what those were just, just recently. So one is a feeling, one is more of an act. And so what are some acts that we can do to show our thankfulness, right? Because um, that's really what we're focused on right now. You know, if you're already... If you're not doing a gratitude journal, I absolutely recommend that you are. But if you are doing one, then that's great. But here are some things that we can start doing to act out our gratitude in showing thanks and in being thankful. So one of them is to 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 write a thank you note. You know, um, not only does it make you feel good inside to say thank you to someone, but it makes the other person feel really good as well. Especially when you thank them for something small that most people probably don't even would never even think to thank them for. Now, th- this could be something simple. It could be like, "Hey, thanks for inviting us over last week for games and dinner." It could be, "Hey, you know, thanks for checking on my mail while I was out of town. Thanks for pet sitting. Thanks for I mean, it literally could be anything, right?" But writing the thank you note is a way to express thankfulness. It is a way for you to express gratitude, I guess I should say, and show thankfulness. Um, And here's one thing that I don't think any of us do. I know I don't do this. um, But I think one thing that could be super helpful for people, and there's actually some studies that were done that, that showed it worked. And so I'm recommending it to you because I believe in the power of basically positive self-talk, but write yourself a thank you note. Write yourself a thank you note for later. Maybe if you have a fitness goal, right? And you didn't want to go get up and go to the gym. Um, write yourself a thank you note for getting up and going to the gym. And every single morning you wake up, again, you're using it for later, read it. Read the thank you note that you wrote yourself when you were feeling good about yourself. So that next time you're up against a struggle and you're up against a situation to where you're like, man, I really don't want to do this. I really don't want to push myself. I really am tired. I really am sore. I'm really whatever. You read that note and you remember how that made you feel. And then you go and you do it and you attack it and you achieve it. Right? So write thank you notes, whether it's to others or whether it's to yourself. Just write thank you notes. It's a great way to, again, express your gratitude in an act of thanks. Count your blessings. So a lot of times, kind of like I said in the very beginning, it's so easy to get caught up in, oh my gosh, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. You know, work's been awful. I lost my job. I got a new job. It's not paying me as great as my other job was. Um, You know, I I was working out. I started my fitness routine. I was crushing it. And then COVID hit and my gym closed and I haven't been back. And I put on 20 pounds, like negative, 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 negative. It's so easy to see all the negative things that are happening around us. It's, it is, it's so easy, but there are positive things that are happening and you have to take time and reflect on those things. Did you recently get back into your routine? Did you recently get an opportunity to get a raise? Did you recently reconnect with an old family member? Did did you recently, I mean, it could be literally anything, right? There are little things that happen all the time 
that we forget that are blessings. I, I'll tell you one of mine. One, one of my things that I have to constantly remind myself is a big, big blessing in my life is uh, my wife meal preps all of our food. Every Friday, she meal preps for the whole week. Breakfast, lunches, and dinners. Yeah, I help. But she does the majority of the work. And that's a huge blessing because we're up early. Sometimes we're at the gym till late. In the middle of the day, it's you never know. Like sometimes you're, you know, networking, sometimes you're on calls, sometimes it's just you guys, just the two of us at lunch. And you don't know. And so it's a huge, huge, huge blessing that she does that every single week. And she's been doing that for years now. I I I would have to ask her, um, honestly, to see how many years it's been now. It's, it's probably been over three or four years, for sure. And to think like what our lives would be like nutritionally and how hectic our lives would be if she wasn't doing that on a regular basis is crazy to me. But it's also something that I can forget about and it gets lost in the shuffle. So count your blessings. What are the good things that are happening to you right now that you can look around and acknowledge and say, wow. This is awesome. This has happened. Uh, you know, something that I used to do when I was younger, simply enough, like I have the ability to get up and go to the gym. Like that's a blessing. Like some people don't have that. And I'm not saying to start comparing yourself to what you have versus what someone else has, but sometimes you've got to look at yourself and think, wow. I have all this chance, all this opportunity to do these things, but I forget because there's all this other crazy negative stuff happening all the time that I'm constantly fighting and constantly battling. And then another one that another one that really helps, and I, I like this one a lot. So number one, write thank you notes, right? We write thank you notes to clients. We write thank you notes to friends and family sometimes, but I've never wrote a thank you note to myself. And I think that could be super powerful. The second one is to count your blessings. So recognize the things around you that are positive, the things that are, you know, may, maybe it's something that you've always had. Maybe you've always had your eyesight and you took it for granted, right? So think about think about things that maybe you've just taken for granted and now, now you can recognize them as blessings and you can recognize these as things to be thankful for. And then the third one is get outside and enjoy nature. Enjoy the outside. I would challenge you today to go on a walk. And depending on what part of the country you're in, it may or may not be freezing. <laughs> so it may look a little bit different for everybody. But here in Tampa, it's getting to be that time of year where the weather is like perfect. And my wife and I love to get out and rollerblade um, she actually has skates, I blade, or we walk. A lot of times we take the dog for a walk. Uh, there's a lot of walking trails around here through the woods. And just get out and breathe the fresh air and take some time to just be, just be. Whether it's be in nature or be in another activity that you really enjoy, just take some time and do that. Because what you're going to realize is, wow, I have this opportunity to do this. I I can help reduce my stress. I can help feel, I can't help myself feel better by expressing my gratitude in acts of thankfulness. I think a lot of times we, you know, every single year we do the same thing. We get to Thanksgiving and we do the big meal and the turkey and the, you know, the stuffing and the deviled eggs and the desserts and the pies and the pumpkin pie, which is one of my favorites. But it's just a thing that we do every 12 months, every last Thursday of, of uh, November. It's just something that we do. And we forget to actually take time to be thankful, to be grateful. And then we rush up to Christmas and it's the same thing. You know, families get together, they maybe spend a day, maybe two days. You know, doing the gifts and taking the taking the time, spending with each other, but a lot of times, you know, depending on families, there's a lot of tension, and then there's fights, and this year with the with the uh, with all the political craziness, 
I already know families who are in in super tight tension with each other. And it's just like we have to start taking time to express our, our gratitude and show thankfulness if we want to feel better. If we want to get anywhere near controlling our thoughts to controlling our actions to controlling our results, we have to be thankful and we have to be grateful. Grateful is a feeling that leads to an action and thankful is the action. So three ways to practice thankfulness and why it's important. Just want to recap this real quick. Number one, you can write thank you notes. Number two, count your blessings. Look for the positive things that are happening around you. Maybe it's things that you don't even realize are positive things right now. But in if you think about it in hindsight, you're like, wow, that's that is a really positive thing. And then number three is just get out and enjoy something that you like to do on a regular basis. Uh, and I, again, I would challenge you to just go out and walk, right? If you're, in a, if you're in a good part of the country where the weather is nice enough and you can get outside and you can walk for a mile, two miles every day, just do that. You know, uh, it's funny because they actually say that there's been studies done. Again, I'm not just making this up. There's been some studies done, some research shows that a walk every single evening is the same as having a nightcap. So it's the same as having like a glass of wine or half a glass of wine when it comes to reducing stress, reducing anxiety, and improving the way that you feel. So don't forget this holiday season to actually take time and express thankfulness. If we start practicing this in our lives every single day, every single week, every single month, every single year, our lives will improve. Not necessarily because things are getting better that much quicker, but because we are controlling the things that we allow space, time, energy, and attention in our lives. Thanks for tuning in today. Connect with me on LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, YouTube now. YouTube has a lot of, pretty much all of my content is going on YouTube. Um, LinkedIn, Instagram, it's it's getting broken up a little bit, business versus fitness versus whatever. So YouTube would be a great place to connect with me. Michael B. Life uh, is on every single platform. So it doesn't matter where you're at. Michael, the letter B, L-I-F-E. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, thanks for taking the time to listen. If you need anything, if there's anything I can do for you, please don't hesitate to let me know.